Hello and welcome to Calagra Market, our daily program on Nifty Bank Nifty USDNR. What do we do here? We look at Nifty UI, we look at Bank Nifty UI, we look at USDNR. We make some kind of predictions for what the market is likely to do tomorrow and we figure out what to do regardless of what the market does tomorrow. Hi Aditya, you're the first one here. Um, so let's see what the market has in store tomorrow, right? But before that, let's look at what we analyzed for yesterday. So yesterday we had said that Nifty is closing above the gap and previous two candles had strong closing, so it's a strong bullish setup. So, uh, 7400 was a strong support. We said PCR is bullish, option data is bullish, futures data is bullish, stock data is bullish, and we said FII data, everything is bullish. Therefore, we said key, although the upside is limited, it's not like there's going to be much downside. Therefore, it's a classic buy on dips market, right? And it, it worked out that way, right? So, today it went and tested the gap fill level. This is the gap fill level, right? It tried to test the gap fill level, but again, it got bounced back from the gap fill level. And now we have a what candle is this? It's a it's an inverted hammer, right? You can say it's a hanging man, but I don't really know if it's a hanging man uh, because there's a support below. So basically, our original uh, prediction that uh, 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 market might hit 17700, which we issued at the time uh, when market had crossed 16800. I think that is intact. So remember, if if you've been watching this thing for a while. We were saying that 16800 is a critical swing low on breaking of which market can go and test the top of the channel again, right? So it seems like that is working out. And tomorrow, see, I mean, Salman Khan says that real men, real men do not look at SGX Nifty and predict tomorrow's level. Uh, <laughs> but let's just look at, oh my God, 17727. Okay. Okay. I, I have no idea why I get these ads. What are these things? Oh, heads up for his dog food. Okay. Now I know why I get these ads. Okay. So, okay. So, uh, we might just see uh, 17700 finally hitting tomorrow, right? So, chart is bullish. No questions about that. Uh, uh, at least I think I, I'll, I'll get rid of my Bear Club president tag now because I've been bullish at least for the last 900 points. Now comes to uh, open interest, right? Open interest is a little bit of a bad puzzle because a lot of call writing here around 7700 plus levels, not too much put writing. Uh, option chain is even Steven at 1.1 PCR. So option chain I would say is uh, but neutral around the ATM. Right, it is what it is, right? And uh, 1700 there's a lot of call selling, right? <coughs> now, looking at FII option data, now that's again a curveball because this is that just bad badal gay meme, right? Because if you look at it, yesterday there were way more puts than calls, today there are more calls than puts, and that is because FII sold 35,000 calls and bought 45,000 puts, which is extremely strong bearish price action. So, on index options. <coughs> Sorry, and on index futures, FII is very very bearish, right? This is this is actually very bearish. This is not just bearish. This is very bearish. Stock data thousand crore buy is bullish. So my verdict net net is that uh, that seventy seven hundred level, right? Now there is every probability that <coughs> we'll test it simply because we have crossed the gap, closed above the gap, formed a rejection wick here. It's kind of a bullish uh, inverted hammer, although it's very tiny. But you can see there's a clear rejection wick here. This is unmistakably price action suggesting that there is continued momentum. So tomorrow we will definitely, most definitely see the top of this channel, right? Because otherwise, aaj itna drama nahi hota, right? At least option chain suggests so. So uh, net net again, you know, HGS Nifty nahi dekhte, achche vache, kabhi nahi karte HGS Nifty dekhna, ho to koi bhi kar sakta hai. At 3.30, right, we have to have the prediction. We can't look at SGX Nifty and see what is going to happen, but uh, tomorrow we will see the high. Now here's the catch. Tushar has a nice theory. In fact, Tushar, your theory is my theory also. So Tushar is saying that seems Nifty will open high and crash. This is what I think so. YouTube content is asking. That's a hammer, not that an inverter. Sorry, sorry. That's a hammer. I'm so sorry. That's a bullish hammer. I don't know why I said the word inverted hammer. You're absolutely right. It's a hammer. Yeah, but now make a care. But anyway, I should use the correct names. Thank you for correcting. So, uh, so the catch is this, right? We have. So I think what Tushar is saying can also play out. Tomorrow we might see a gap up, 
but given that there's a resistance there given that option chain is has got 17700 plus selling and given that fia is doing something they are massively bearish right i'm not saying they're generally bearish i'm saying they are massively bearish maybe we'll see a gap open and reversal tomorrow i don't know i'm just saying that is a likely scenario given that there is so much conflicting signals right now let's look at bank nifty bank nifty again is looking pretty solid in fact bank nifty is way more bullish than nifty even so nothing changes for bank nifty finally let's go to usdnr usdnr may a lot of things change <laughs> now uh, we were talking about usdnr uh, being a buy on dips market where it was coming close to 50 dma etc earlier uh, and now usdnr is at least overseas it seems like it has crashed some 40 points 40 basis points let's look at the charts for uh, yeah let's look at the charts for usd inr ka august future right okay so usd inr august future is uh, showing this right so today there was a huge uh, rejection uh, wick voila shooting star kind of thing then there was a bullish hammer, then there was a confirmation candle, then it has come back. Maybe it can go down all the way to 79.30 odd levels or 79.20 odd levels on futures. After that, we have to see what will happen, right? So basically, USDNR, there is support around 79.20 futures level, 20 to 30 zone. I mean, there's no one point, it's a zone always. So 79.30 to 20 up a cut low, there's a support. There's a resistance because of this rejection wick. So tomorrow we have to see what the price action will suggest after hitting this level, right? But net net, uh, there may be, there is, it looks like there is going to be a very likely, so Shravan is asking a good question. Shravan is asking, why don't you in, in, include SGX Nifty future data in the analysis stream? Because Shravan, our objective of this uh, exercise is not to predict market kaha khulega tomorrow, right? That anybody can do looking at SGX Nifty. Our objective is, uh, if you did not know SGX Nifty at 3.30, by looking at the data points you have at 3.30, uh, how can you assume or how can you predict where the market will open tomorrow only looking at data points available to you at 3.30? right that's the reason why we are doing it without looking at sgx nifty so that's the objective right so yeah so this is our uh, uh, read on usdnr usdnr will gap down tomorrow in all probability and then we have to see the price action so nifty approaching a very very critical technical resistance level um, bank nifty approaching a uh, I mean, I don't see anything on Bank Nifty. Nifty is approaching 7700. If it breaks, we'll see much, much bigger price action. We'll probably see fireworks, 18100, all time high. Everything is possible. <laughs> Bank Nifty, uh, I can't see any immediate levels if you ask me because it seems to be in an uptrend. Dollar seems to be crashing a little bit. We have to wait and watch. So, net net, uh, uh, my verdict is that tomorrow 7700 touch. That's why you have to see if it will go upper or if it will go niche right so tomorrow's market is critical in the sense that 17700 which has been our target for quite some days is going to play out tomorrow and we'll see what happens tomorrow when the market touches 17700 tomorrow right uh, but please keep in mind that there is one conflicting piece of information after all which is fia being negative right everything else is fine but fia is negative uh, so this is our analysis for today uh, we'll oh wow well, yeah sorry we'll do multi strike OI quickly. I don't think OI captured the potential gap up tomorrow to be honest. Uh, yeah you can see that right both call and put OI collapsed towards the EOD so I don't think OI captured anything. Uh, so so yeah this is net net our analysis so yep this is our analysis for today we'll see you again on. Uh, tomorrow uh, with uh, what's most likely to happen on Thursday. So I hope regardless of whether you're short or long, you guys have a wonderful expiry tomorrow. So on that note, I'll take your leave. Uh, as usual, please take care and keep your capital safe. Bye.